everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another video from katytech.co. Uh, little update there from katytech.org. Uh, both addresses will still bring you there. Basically, this is for anybody who is running any setup that they got. Um, it'll bring you back to a stock version of the uh, gingerbread operating system uh, for the droid charge. You're going to basically flash two pieces uh, that will bring you back to the EP4 stock, unrooted, and uh, then you can take the over-the-air update to get to FP1, the FP1 kernel. Basically that will set you up then at that point to go ahead and either leave it like it is and warranty it, uh, root it, and ROM it if you so choose, or you can just run it stock. Okay, you're going to need to uh, basically have a few pieces to get this thing going. Most of you who are in this state where you've modified your phone already have most of this, but I'll cover it anyways. Uh, I'm starting on a Windows machine. Uh, I'm actually running a Mac Air with Windows 7 dual booted. Uh, from there you're going to need the Samsung drivers, uh, version 1.82 of Odin, and uh, some sort of extractor for Windows like WinRAR, which is, uh, they give free trials for 40 days. And then from there you're going to need to download the pit file that uh, I'm Nuts uh, had created for us. He's a great developer, has done a lot of work for the Droid Charge even though he runs other phones and does a lot of work for other phones. Uh, you'll also need the kernel operating system copy of EP4 um, so that you can flash that over PDA option on Odin. Uh, after that, again like I said, you'll be set up for the EP4 and then from there you can take the over-the-air update. Uh, follow the links below my YouTube video to get over to the charge forum posting. It has very detailed instructions line by line of what you need to do. Uh, from there you can follow all of the links. They take you over to Roots Wiki and a couple other forums and that'll set you up for uh, all the files that you're looking for. Everything you need is in one post on one forum so you can gather it all up. Uh, from there, uh, a lot of people ask me questions directly. They post under my video. They also uh, send me private messages through my YouTube channel and stuff. And that's fine, and I'll do the best I can to answer, but I get slammed with questions. So feel free to leave posts on uh, Charge Forums, Roots Wiki, uh, XDA Developers, Android Forums, and Android Central. That's where I hang out the most, is all of those websites. they got some good quality people there that can answer a lot of questions. Okay, from there we're going to move on. Alright, first things first, uh, back up your phone and all your data. Uh, go ahead and you can follow my other videos there if you need help with that, but uh, you're going to erase your phone. So, you need to get all that stuff, text messages, etc. that you want to keep all saved. Alright, I'm assuming you have all the files downloaded, the ones you need for your computer, as well as the ones necessary for your phone by following all the links. Uh, from there you can extract any of the files that came compressed. Put the phone into download mode. Uh, you need to open Odin and put the phone into download mode. So Odin is up and running. Take the battery out of your phone. Hold volume down. Plug the USB port into the phone and into the computer. While continuing to hold down. You should see the yellow triangle with download mode appear. Uh, from there, put the battery back in the phone. It's very important. Battery needs to go back in the phone. You don't change anything else. Just place it into the back of the phone. Um, on Odin, knowing that you got download mode done correctly, Odin should show a COM port in yellow. It should say COM port 1. It, it can say any number. It doesn't matter. But that means that it's recognized. Uh, from there, you're going to move over to PDA. Select PDA. Uh, it'll populate the open window which will allow you to select your file wherever you have it saved for PDA.
From there, you're going to go and click PIT on the PIT file. Uh, it will only allow you to select the PIT file. It'll recognize it. It won't get it mixed up. Uh, just make sure it's wherever you put it. From there, uh, check to make sure all your boxes are in order, the right ones are checked, so forth. You don't have any extra stuff checked. And double check from there to make sure that it's just PIT and PDA and you have the correct files associated and you're ready to go on all parts. Uh, this is the last stopping point before you could potentially break your phone, so warning at your own risk. From here, once you're sure you've got everything done correctly, click Start. Uh, you'll see it start processing. allow it to finish the whole process and uh, once it's all done and it says pass you can go ahead and unplug your phone and you can let your phone restart um, it'll go through a whole long booting process again as if it's brand new for the first time uh, let it fully set up give it a little bit of time and then uh, sign in with your google account you'll be set uh, you have a restored phone. Congratulations. Everything is new again. And you have the EP4 setup. So you can just go ahead and go into your settings, select um, the updates, check for updates. It'll start downloading the over the air update. And you can go ahead and install that. That'll bring you to FP1 on stock, just like it's brand new as if it came from Verizon. Uh, from there, you're all set. You can either continue to operate the phone as it is, or you can move on to routing. And the routing will allow you to keep any data you've created. Uh, and then you can also go on to ROMing as well. Uh, I'm working on a couple different videos for that. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Twitter. Uh, both are free, and uh, it motivates me to keep making more videos, so I appreciate it. Uh, that's it. Thanks again for watching. <music>